A follow up now to a story we first brought you on Friday. That's when we checked in with San Diego stuck in Lake Arrowhead for well over a week after snow just slammed the region. I had a chance to catch up with the Gruber family who went on a ski trip with another family. It was supposed to last three nights. 14 days later, they're back now and describe what it was like trying to get out. There was no real way to be prepared that this was a possibility because it's never been seen, at least in my lifetime. Elliot Gruber and his son Luca are relieved to be back home in San Diego. After nearly two weeks stuck in the snow in Lake Arrowhead, on Saturday, a plow finally cleared the road in front of their cabin. It was one lane and they were about, not an exaggeration, like eight foot walls of snow on either side. With just enough room for one car to make it through, the Gruber's one and a half mile drive to the main road took an hour and a half. You have to honk your horn to make sure there's no one coming, you can't even see around the turns. And then a car would be there, and then you'd have to back up like a quarter of a mile, find a driveway that's halfway plowed out, let that guy pass, then keep going. Then the fog set in, reducing visibility to just a few feet in front of them. So we're going, you know, 10 miles an hour, the whole way down the mountain. We first caught up with the Gruber and Ringhoff families on Friday. You can see like uh, roofs that are like sinking or decks that have collapsed. They described the shocking amount of snow that fell over a five day stretch. Many times they ran out of food and had to walk six miles just to get food at a corner gas station. Then Friday night, the cabin a few doors down, which once looked like this, burned to the ground. But they couldn't, they had so many other calls to go on that they just, some of the neighbors were out there, they just attached a fire hose to the fire uh, hydrant and just said, here, just open up the valve and spray it if any fires start coming. We have other calls that we have to go to. Now, finally back home, they say they're thankful for the people of Lake Arrowhead who rallied together to support each other. Do you guys ever want to see snow again? <laughs> I, I would love to see snow again, but not five feet of snow. <laughs> not anytime I, I soon, my, I bet. Yeah, I got my fill of shoveling for probably the rest of my life. And we'll just make sure that we really understand the weather a lot better than we were uh, hoping to the next time we make a trip like this. So. <laughs> Oh, can you imagine back in your own bed after dealing oh, with all of that? The, the kids got to go back to school, though. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, I did ask Luca, his son, how did it feel to go back to school? He's like, this is the first time I've ever missed school. And seeing his friends, he said everybody was really excited to see him this morning when he showed up. They, they look like they're doing well, so that's the most important part. Good that they're home safe. Safe and sound, but not easy. Yeah.